Hi, I'm Dan with Campers and RV. Today we're gonna to talk about how to dewinterize your RV. The steps we take to dewinterizing your RV roof is we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean any debris that may have accrued over the winter in storage. While we're cleaning it, we're going to go ahead and inspect all our sealants and vent lids. Make sure we have no cracking of the lids or the sealant. If we do, we're going to go ahead and touch up our sealants. And once we're done touching everything up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash our roof and get it in tip top shape. It's important to dewinterize your RV roof to make sure we don't have any leaking that may have occurred over the winter, mostly because of the roof sealants that may have cracked or weathered over the cold weather. We're going to inspect them and make sure everything is tip top and we have no leaks in our RV. Some of the potential consequences that may happen if you do not dewinterize your RV roof is sealants that may have cracked over the winter. Uh, causing leaks on the roof or down the side walls. You may have cracked vents and shrouds that are allowing water to come in and we want to make sure there is no leaks and we have a nice sealed camper. If you have leaky seals after dewinterizing your RV, you may have a saggy roof or even potentially uh, water spots coming down your side walls if the leak is bad enough. And all of that would need to be brought into your repair center and fixed thoroughly. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has given you clarity on how to dewinterize your RV. At Campers in RV, we pride ourselves in being the RVer's trusted resource. We also have a website and blog full of information for you to research and make the most of your RV lifestyle. I encourage you to check it out at this link below. Thank you for watching and choosing Campers in RV.